so today is a friday the third of may and uh, actually it is the first friday of may which means we are anticipating nfp non-farm payrolls as you can see over here according to the mt5 calendar in these uh, case which is uh, actually around an average of 11 roughly 10 minutes away from now so typically we do have the previous and the forecast results over here where you do anticipate for, for for the nfp and usually just as uh, it is usual minutes or uh, seconds to once nfp the, the market is always on consolidation mode in this uh, case so if you actually to change from a from a one hour time frame to one minute time frame you can see the market is always on consolidation because no nobody wants to be caught up on the on the market so let us access the news on the news calendar there's access the news on the news calendar to have a more detailed view then refresh ourselves on what you did say about nfp before it is actually here so I can't miss it today. So what you wanna do is uh, just go to. Mm -hmm. I always have half it on my basket. So just source for it should be somewhere. News calendar. Uh -huh. Is it these? Okay, yeah, it is these. Uh, Daily effects dot dot com. Then economic calendar in that uh, case. So typically, let us wait for it to finish the load up, do all that kind of stuff. Then you can see the third of May. Actually, uh, according to my current uh, time zone, it, we anticipate it from uh, actually 80 minutes from now. So minutes until event. So according to my time frame, it is a uh, 15 Friday of May 3 the third yeah. <laughs> yeah at the time and the date over there but it is 15 21 so roughly eight minutes to to, to the event that a case so non farm payrolls in this uh, instance but you can see the the previous or, or the revised news the previous we uh, we add three or three k so we can actually have these on our chart so uh, whiteboard So our previous is a 303k for the US now and then um, let me check out these and then the forecast is 243k and then we anticipate now the actual in that case so the previous over here they can either be previous or revised revised in that case so the forecast is how much is it 243k 243k which is kind of kind of a negative kind of a negative forecast for the us so us is a uh, we anticipate it to, to have a negative impact so no matter the actual results over here so let's say we will be trading what do i have on the chart gold is this gold yeah x uh, gold <laughs> sorry about that i just want to go over here so let's say we'll be trading gold so gold could be actually this is uh, so usd so if we anticipate usd to go down usd to go down we anticipate to buy we anticipate to buy uh, gold in that uh, case so they usually work in that way just like we add down we add down these in a lesson in that uh, case so typically we can anticipate two things so what we do anticipate right now is to to buy to go long buy or 
go along for the for the gold in that uh, case so if the actual that is uh, released in this uh, case is somewhere it could be some value below this uh, could be some value below that let's say to 200k and again it could be some value in between these two values uh, which is again let's say to 90k and then it could be higher than these uh, that is again let's say 350k so what you do anticipate right now is is to to buy for the for the gold but if the value is uh, below 200k that is worse than expected worse than expected so we go we go we go total total long then if the value is 290 that is uh, in between so we will have neutral neutral or mixed reaction and then if 350k if we do have 350k that is a uh, uh, better than expected so we will go short so what the market will act this is how the market will act we will have um, what color do we used so if we do get uh, better than expected this uh, better than expected so we will have the market will react in this way um, better than expected the market will shoot down and then abruptly shoot up again in that case so we will sell gold for a stipulated amount of time in this case maybe one minute or some few seconds then go up in that case so what we will have is a long bearish candlestick what we will have it's a long uh, bearish candlestick with the lower lower week or lower shadow in that case so what we do anticipate is typically you are requested or uh, required to go to a uh, maybe a lower time frame and then you can have some orders see 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 what can we have eh? maybe have a new order and then pending order uh, a buy stop in that case let's say a buy stop of uh, 0 0.01 or uh, 1 then price is uh, 3 10 then let me just place it then I will you know change it so somewhere over there and then again a sell stop maybe uh -huh. we don't like typically have a, a tick profit for this but uh, yeah <laughs> that is how the market is uh, will react in this uh, case so we want to have a buy so let us then wait for the market to do its thing so on the one minute time frame our order is too far <laughs> our order is too far so it is usually required that you just place it a few points above the previous one so modify and that is all so how many minutes an average of one minute to time so yeah let us then wait and see how it does play out
So one minute to go, one minute to go. The, the, uh, the actual results will be shown over here. Yeah. So there we go. <laughs> so the results were, were typically released. I don't know how much. This is not yet updated, but you can have a look at uh, at these. You can have a look at these. So the results that we do have is worse than expected. So 175k. So 175k is worse than expected. So we go long for for gold. So typically. That is what we did and you can see that is what we did so 175k is the results that you do get and then for the trade over here you can you can have a look for the buy stop which was we haven't actually <laughs> placed our buy stop in this case so yeah so can maybe actually go ahead and one. The demo card it says okay. We didn't place the the buy stop because <laughs> of the current margin in the account, but uh, you can see. So the others were the previous orders, then, 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 yeah. yeah I should have like actually closed these orders before, you know, trying to open that, but uh, this is what I was seeing. So if we go to the one hour, can see our 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 thing should have actually been uh, triggered so yeah I didn't see the deposit over there but uh, you can see that is how you just like go ahead and chase the markets so if I try to open up another buy of one then we don't uh, have enough enough margin to open 0 0.1 in that case that is why our order was never triggered but typically that is it that is it according to to the strategy that we had